amidst all the controversy that has come from this video that I posted, uh, I wanted to come on here and read some of the messages that my students are sending me. Turn. Some of the messages that they've been sending me. During this time. Hey, bestie. I really hope that you see this message. How are you? I hope that you're okay. <laughs> Our class misses you so much. And we really want you to know that we love you and we miss you so much. And can't wait for you to come back. I can't believe that taking somebody's hair out is such a big deal. And it makes me so mad that people make little things big things. I want you to know that the class and others got your back. And we will always stand behind you. And out for you no matter what happens, we got you. Again, we miss we miss you and we love you so much. And can't wait for, can't wait for you to come back. I wish that this never happened because it feels like we're losing you. Come back soon. Don't be gone too long because if you're not back by Monday, I know something's up. But anyways, I also made sure that the classroom was clean before we left. Love you. Miss you. Love you. Miss you. See you later. Hi, Mr. White. We've been seeing all this stuff going on. And so has your other former students. And I just want you to know that we're standing with you. I... I'm literally in my junior year of high school right now and seeing this, you, and seeing all this, you were my and many others' favorite teacher. Many, uh, many of your students and former students are doing our best to advocate for you. You're one of the few teachers that made me really feel like I had a voice and opinion. And not only and not only that you made learning fun and encouraging at the end of the day some people wouldn't understand that some adults genuinely have a good heart. And it comes have a good heart when it comes to dealing with children and that's probably never gonna change, but you know, we know parents, staff, etc. None that there knows that there has never been anything weird going on. And that there was never any insinuation of that. The people that actually matter knows where your heart is. And that's all that matters. During COVID, you quite literally helped me through my 8th grade year. By just being an adult, I knew I could go to if I was having any problems. Continue being you and don't let anyone change that. For the GOAT. What's up, Mr. White? I know that I know that your situation may not be looking the best, but just know that you'll get through it and we all know your real intentions. Remember, sure. Remember your Bruce Lee quote. Remember your Bruce Lee quote. Can't wait for your return. <sighs> P.S. Your Air Maxes are in the boys' locker room. I seen them today after practice, and I didn't know what to do with them, so I just put them in there. My Bruce Lee quote is: If you if you have an emotional reaction to anything someone says or does to you, means that that person can control you, and you should not be controlled by anyone. Dear Mr. White, Dear Mr. White, we hope that you're doing doing well during these tough times. We hope that you're doing well during these tough times. 
we wanted to let you know that we appreciate you as a teacher. As our teacher, and we hope the best for you in your future. We hope you come back, and we want you to keep your head up. Like Tupac said, in appreciation of you, we cleaned up your class. Thank you for all that you do for us. <laughs> Don't listen to those haters. We love you, Mr. White. Lock in before we tweak out. And P.S. We also fed fed your kids for you. And my kids are my animals that are at the school. And lock in before I tweak out. It's something that I say to them when they get on my nerves. So thank you. So the reason why I titled the video the way that I titled it is because when you go through his TikTok, you will see fields of black women. Now, of course, like I've covered before, if you paid attention and actually listen before you decide to make yourself look stupid, I've stated the fact that you had a um, opposing views, right? You have black women and some black men out there that are like, hey, we don't see anything wrong. Why is people vilifying them? And then again, you have on the other side, black men and black women. That want to sit up there and call him everything negative directly under the sun and state that they can see this and they can see that. And they got all of this proof. And even though they don't have anything, they don't got zero. And these are just a few of the comments that you were able to see d directly in front of you. Right. One person said, and the parents gave consent to R. Kelly and Dan Schneider. See the comparison that's going on. See how people are automatically trying to put him in a box because He's a black man again at the end of the day, and that's the box that they want to put him in. This is where a lot, if anything negative is going on in the world, people want to try to brand and place a black man in that position so that he could be the poster child. This is literally what you're seeing. This is not make me making it up and, and all. This is exactly what is on his uh, his social media. This is directly from his TikTok. And I promise you can actually go there today and see probably even worse comments. And then underneath that, you got another woman that decided to state that the Department of Education thinks differently. LOL, thank God he's fired. Hooray. What? Why are you ecstatic that a black man no longer has a job? He's no longer working. Like, well, like I said before, this is what I'm trying to. This is what. This is why I told people before, you have fields of black women directly out there that are literally wishing on the downfall of a black man at any given point in time. It don't matter what he's doing. There's a black woman out there somewhere wishing on that man's downfall. He ain't do nothing to her. He don't even know she exists. He ain't never talked to her. He ain't never seen her before. Again, he don't even know that she exists. But yet there's a black woman out there hoping and wishing for a black man's downfall. And like I said, you got these women in this comment section right now talking. And none of them know this guy. But yet, they're willing to go out here on social media and state all of these things. Like I said before, the moment in time that social media starts actually uh, 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 tagging and having all of your social medias connected to your real name, people are going to relax on a lot of the things that they state. People are going to relax on a lot of the things that they state because now everything can be traced and followed. And now when it gets to a point in time that you want to say something so vile and crazy, somebody can actually sue you for defamation because everything that these women are doing, this is defamation. You are literally harming somebody's character. You don't have a shred of evidence or a shred of proof. And you're deciding to, you want to compare him to R. Kelly and Dan Schneider. How did we get here? How did we get here? Literally, how did we even get here? And people wonder why it is that I stated in the other video that, hey, we might as well just get, you know, black men directly out of, um, you know, the system. We, 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 we might as well just get black men directly out of the whole school system so that it's impossible for them to be blamed for anything going on. But even I know if I had the power to do that, somehow, some way, somebody would be like, well, you know, the reason that the black kids are going through this is because we don't have enough black men, male teachers in the school system to sit up there and, you know, teach them masculinity, to teach them this and teach somehow, some way. 
with or without a black man being there, a black man is going to be to blame. And nobody actually sees that. But oh wait, let's keep going. So we're just going to look at the whole thread because I don't feel like cutting this up today. Uh, a woman wrote, where are the professional boundaries? Where are the male students that could most definitely use the intimacy to talk? Person wrote, he shows him with boys playing soccer, and I bet they're having a good conversation while playing. She responded, he attached that once people uh, started to question why. If he's not a predator, he's opening a door of exposure to these kids. Can he not connect to the girls in a typical male gaze slash centered way activity? I don't even know what that means. I don't even, what, what, what does that even, that sounds weird. Like the, maybe, I, I'm not sure if it's just me or if it's how it is that this person wrote. That right there just sounds weird. Can he not connect to the girls in a typical male gaze slash centered way or act what does that even mean that just sounds weird is it just me uh, like i said before let, let me know in the comment section if you made it this far in the video i am trying to really comprehend what it is that this person is trying to write or even trying to convey at this moment in time because i, I don't even know and this is about probably uh my second time reading this and i think i just glanced over it the first time but it's like now when i pay attention to it it's like what are you specifically trying to say you're already trying to paint this dude again as a prey and then you write this directly under the comment section when somebody gives you a rebuttal like hey he does have videos up there with him and the male students playing soccer and yada 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 but then you're like oh he just hurried up and put that up there when people started questioning him because he's trying to hide what he's really trying to do what so you just got to answer for everything you you so you got to answer for literally everything directly. This is crazy, right? So uh, another person came back said, "Oh brother, right?" So she wrote back. So um, the internet found a video he stitched with a teen girl. Some emo stuff. Tonight will be the night that I fall for you. And again, I showcased this video in one of the previous um videos that I brought up directly to you guys. I think I might have even shown this off in the live stream as well and i explained it very easily to people the fact that you on tiktok you have people that will decide to make these videos in order for other people to stitch some of these things are trendy and this is what people tend to do on tiktok and people don't matter what race ethnicity or age will just so happen to make a rebuttal right and for me i'm just looking at it from a tiktok standpoint that's what he did and in order to in a sense try to further validate what it is that I'm stating, I showed other stitches that he has done or other rebuttals that he has done in a side-by-side -side with other people of other age ranges. You got a small child up there that he did a side-by-side -side directly with. I guess he was supposed to be like watching the baby or whatnot or whatever. You got another one where you see uh, females dancing. Again, I don't know the age ranges of those females directly in the video. That's what I'm saying, females. But again, he sat up there and with the same dance moves that they were doing, he was sitting up there dancing too. But I'm guessing some people say like, oh, why is he dancing so provocatively? And why is he dancing like this and like that? I, I feel like he's trying to convey some, right? It'll be that whole thing. And then last but not least, he did the exact same thing with a, another female that was in the video. Again, I don't know her age. I'm not going to sit up there and assume. And he did a stitch and a rebuttal directly to that video. So again, these are things that he has done before. Doesn't matter what the age range is. It's on social media. It's on TikTok. That's a part of the TikTok culture. That's what he did. But how she wants to sit up there and frame it, she didn't uh, add in the fact that he was singing Panic at the Disco, uh, close uh, the gosh darn door. That was the song that he used in the stitch that he had, right? But anyways, let's continue, right? Next person said, no, because it's little girls he likes. He knows what he's doing. See that? And these are women stating this. These are women in the comment sections under his social media. It don't matter if it's from IG, if it's Twitter, if it's TikTok. All of these social medias, you have countless women, and especially black women, in the comment section throwing these accusations, throwing these insinuations, even though they don't have no proof. They don't have nothing. They got the loosest, most uh, uh, paperclip 
type of quote-unquote evidence that they were able to sit up there and find. That was it. That's the only thing that they got. So, mind you, he has countless videos up there with him in the classroom with the students. He has countless videos up there of just him in an empty classroom just sitting up there doing videos. Countless videos of him just with his dog or him just talking directly to the screen or or whatnot, whatever, or him just reacting to other things on social media or on TikTok. Like, it's, it's crazy how a lot of people want to pick and choose when a person is quote unquote innocent and when a person is quote unquote guilty. But in a court of public opinion, even when a person has very valid proof, concrete evidence, people will still sit up there and say, you're guilty. As long as you're black, you're always guilty. That's in a sense what I'm getting from this, right? So this is where we are at this moment in time, right? We got a uh, another black woman here. She said, let's stir the pot, remember, right? With the dead emoji laughing out loud, consider it stirred, right? Somebody else stated, right, asked to be clocked and you shall receive. Another person, boy, bye. Have some respect. He's done nothing wrong. Another person, Ashley Smith, said he's done nothing wrong, but groomed children and lost his job because of it. I mean, you don't lose your job because you do everything correct, right? So again, you have all of these assumptions directly out there amongst the one person that is defending this man. You have all of these other people there that want to see the downfall, they're laughing and they're smiling directly at everything that's taking place. But yet these same exact people don't seemingly have this energy when we talk about female teachers actually going after uh, their sons, their nephews, their nieces, Nothing. None, none of the same energy where these people are laughing like, oh, yeah, you lost your job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This person needs to be in prison. Yeah. You don't, you don't never see these people. And like I said, that, that's been I've noticed that for years because I've consistently covered stories where teachers have done nefarious things when it deals with students. In a lot of those cases that I've covered those videos, you don't get a lot of people that want to comment. You don't get a lot of people that, that want to magically boast and have a voice and, and say this and say, don't want to say none of that. But the moment in time, like I said before, that the image of the supposed individual that is a perpetrator is black. Oh, it's over. It's over. Like they want your career gone. They don't want you to ever teach again. They don't want you to, to pretty much even exist. Like, I've literally gone through, again, three different um, platforms, and I've watched black people do their best to try to insinuate and tear this black man down with not a shred of evidence at all. And when you listen to the uh, responses that the students gave, they were like, yo, there's nothing even going on here. How is it that grown adults are trying to insinuate or try to state something that ain't happening? How? And then people got the nerve to call him weird, but realistically, all of the adults doing this, y'all are the weirdest ones directly out here. Again, y'all got people in y'all family, weirdos, but you ain't trying to do nothing to them. You ain't trying to make sure that they're fired and make sure that they ain't showing it to no family gatherings and all this other type of stuff. But yet you want to be boastful on, on social media. And you want to give these, these bright ass opinions, but you can't even protect the kids in your family. But you feel like this is the time that you need to step up. Step the fuck down. And it's crazy to me to know that everybody heard the same video, but yet I know somebody out there is going to try to state that, oh, the reason that the kids are are, are writing this is because they don't understand what's going on. They, they, they don't understand that, you know, this guy's this, this type of guy. We can, we can all see it. They just can't see it because they're, you know, the frontal lobes aren't fully developed yet. And, you know, they're not old enough to, to understand, you know, that's, that's, that's how this works. You know, that's how all these, these other men, you know, got directly. To, like, it's so crazy. People are like literally foaming at the mouth right now. I've never seen this before ever in my life. You literally got people foaming at the mouth, just writing anything, just writing anything. But you got countless teachers, you got countless family members, you got countless friends that you know of that are out here doing this stuff or you caught wind of, and, and you don't have the type of mouth that you got 
when it deals with them. But you got all the mouth in the world when it deals with this stuff. That's crazy to me. And like I said, that's how I know a lot of people out here are fake. And I keep stating that. A lot of adults are out here fake when they sit up there and state, oh, yeah, you know, uh, we got to really protect. We got to really look out. If it's if, if that is the case, then you will be talking about the fact that you got 80,000. You got millions of kids that go missing that nobody knows anything about. You'll make sure to be screaming until your face is blue, but you're not doing that. You're not doing that. You will be highlighting stories all across the place talking about what it is that is happening with kids, but you're not doing that because you don't want to, because you realistically don't care. You care right now because everybody else is up here and, and this is the hot thing to do. And you want to jump on a bandwagon because realistically you want to get your little platform started so that, you know, you can get a little bump in views. So that people can start actually listening to you because nobody was actually listening to you. Because when I look through a lot of these profiles and want to talk about this dude, I notice that these other people got videos, but they don't got a lot of views. They don't got a lot of engagements. I notice that. It's the same thing that people like to do on Twitter. They want to, you know, say something crazy, controversial, so that they can have people look at their profiles and start to engage in their videos and yada, yada, yada. Like I said, I haven't seen it before. I know how this whole circus basically works. But it's crazy that you're willing to do this at the detriment and destruction of a whole nother human being who has not shown any shred of evidence of doing anything nefarious or criminal minded at all. But yet you got the, the students sitting up here stating how much they love this teacher, how much this teacher means to them, how this teacher has really looked out and helped them out. And how this teacher is like the best thing in their lives and why it is that they're even still in school. It's crazy. So crazy. But, you know, like I said before, it is what it is. Destruction of a black man one on one. And even if it comes to a point in time where there is complete 1000 percent evidence of what everybody can see, that nothing has happened, that nothing was going on. You're still going to have people in the background stating that, oh, no, something is still up. I know I'm right. I just have to prove it. There's something that people are missing, something that's getting swept under the rug. I, I know this. I know this. I know this. Right. You're still going to have people hoping even when a person is proven to be innocent, you still got people hoping that they're right. They still want to be right. Because like I told you guys before, everybody wants to be right, but nobody wants to be wrong. And that's the problem that we have.